So what is a coronavirus? There are, it's a huge family of viruses that fit under that terminology. They were first described in the 1960s. They're called coronavirus like a corona, like a, like a crown that a, that a king or a queen would have in, the, in, in a cartoon, is because that's the outer appearance of this particular group of viruses. There are many coronaviruses. They're divided into alpha, beta, delta, gamma, coronaviruses. The alpha coronaviruses are extremely common. In fact, 30% of colds that we get here in the United States are alpha coronaviruses. Very common, not a big deal at all. The beta coronaviruses, well, that's SARS is a beta coronavirus, and MERS is a beta coronavirus, and this new 2019 NCOV is a beta coronavirus. Those have been very serious in humans. We don't know how it spreads. We know it's a respiratory virus because m the most severe and most common symptoms are respiratory symptoms. Typically, the patient was going to have a high fever, is going to have shortness of breath. They're going to feel very ill. They, uh, many have been coughing, some sneezing, but mostly it's coughing, deep coughing. And um, when they become severely ill, what we're seeing that's uncommon is that these patients seem to be having some kind of renal problems. The CDC has labeled us at risk level two. So that means that uh, we have to be alert to the situation, that we have to uh, monitor as a government for what's going on. We have to do the surveillance we're doing at uh, airports and we have to alert our community because as long as we practice a little bit of social distancing and that we're alert and that we don't have any unnecessary travel to an area that's at risk, then our chances of getting infected or having it become endemic in the United States are greatly reduced or almost eliminated.